Hey everybody, welcome to Reviews by Vince. Today I'm in Grimsby, Ontario, a small town of about 25,000 people. And we are here to review the Kerman Car Wash. It's here on Kerman Ave. And they have some self-serve bays, but they also have a touchless system. So let's go check it out. So this one actually has a little bit of a different, uh, slightly different setup. Um, it's busy today. We got a line going back a bit. Um, the uh, the car in front of me, uh, the uh, uh, keypad thing is there, and then you can see there's a car in front right, uh, waiting to go in. And uh, so what happens is you go where this person is. You punch in your uh, code in that and then you move forward and then you wait so it's uh, usually like whoever's at the keypad is the next to go in but you're actually kind of either one ahead or one behind depending on how you want to look at it but um, yeah it's a little different so I've never been to this one before and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what type of system it is as soon as the we get up there and the door is open I'll start it back up when uh, I enter in my code. All right, so I'm up here at the keypad. Just happened to uh, notice that it, they have um, uh, like kind of prepaid wash cards, and the more you get, the uh, kind of the more you save. So, as you can see, twenty gets you twenty-two, all the way up to a hundred dollars gets you a hundred and fifteen dollars um, worth of car washes. So. Um, you know, it might not be the best deal, but at least they're offering some type of savings anyways. If uh, For the people that go here all the time and are loyal to this wash, then uh, why not? So, anyways, just thought I'd point that out. Uh, should be uh, going here pretty soon. Alright, so we'll get this done. Please retry your cup to purchase a wash, insert money, enter a code or swipe a card. Please select a wash. Would you like a receipt? Print printing receipt. Thank you for using Please wait. The wash is in use. Alright, so that's done. So now we just move up here pretty simple and look at that they're even advertising there about the uh, packages saving the money it's a pretty good idea actually I mean you get that door there you might as well uh, Looks like it's a vector system again. Um, you get that door there, you might as well put some advertising or something on it. So, of this being a vector, this will be... Uh, it's funny how things go in spurts. The last one I did was a vector, and then sometimes I'll go in spurts where I'll get, like, a few of the Ryko radiuses or, you know, whatever. So, uh, we were so impressed with the, um, the vector system uh, on the last wash. This will be a good comparison, because that was an older... Uh, unit and from what I understand uh, this is a somewhat new uh, addition I think they had the um, oh, self-serve bays uh, first and then they added this afterwards is my understanding so 
interesting comparison to see this one uh, versus the the last one so anyways uh, stay tuned I'll start it back up when the uh, when we're ready to go in holy cow and I just noticed the uh, dryers and that just kicked in so he must have just got either a basic or deluxe or something he must not have gotten the top wash I didn't see uh, tri foam being applied so watch this door go up here Yeah, if you go on to their website, uh, kermancarwash.com, uh, they um, they tell you about the the system and uh, their self serve bays and stuff like that too. There's some information on there, and uh, I think they say on their website that they have 60 seconds, so one minute of uh, dryer time. That they have the digital keypad to, or the digital uh, readout to let you know all your time. All right, here we go. Ooh, let's get the spinners on the side. So my vehicle wasn't overly dirty, that's why I didn't do it before. Um, but I'll definitely show an after anyway, so we can see. It's mainly the windows and stuff like that that uh, were dirty on it. So it's lining everything up. LED lights don't seem to be as bright in these arms. I don't know if it's just because it's so bright in here and it's a sunny day or or what, but I'm pretty sure I thought I saw here I'll put in the backup camera. I'm pretty sure I uh, have been to these in a bright environments before and they shined uh, they lit up better the arms, but I could be wrong. Coverage doesn't seem to be too bad. Ooh, it's going right into the high pressure rinse right away. Seems to be a much faster. Uh, System. This one here over the last one. The uh, even the transition is faster. Coverage is pretty good on the triphone. Didn't get the very back. I, I still say that when those arms come around and touch at the front and at the back, it should be spraying the triphone. It does it on the pre soak. Why doesn't it do it on the triphone? That doesn't make any sense to me. So that pass there they call a medium rinse, not a high pressure. And then now this is the uh, probably either the surface protecting or spot free rinse or combination of both here. That should be the spot free there. Oh, 
Oh, well, maybe this is. There's this bar there that lights up, but the lights are so bright I can't see the actual. Uh, I can't see the uh, the words on it. Wow, I did a lot of passes of that. I don't know if that's like two passes of uh, surface protecting and two passes of the spot free. It's got the blade dryers. Don't seem to be doing that good of a job. The side ones anyways, and the top ones. They're going pretty slow, they do give you a minute. I can definitely tell you right now the dryers are nowhere near as good as the uh, the last system uh, we did. Alright, so we're gonna go check it out. Have to pardon the beeping. <clears throat> here away from everybody and we'll have a look yeah yeah so you can see the people are right there constantly uh, it's non-stop people going in there so it's doing a lot of business today. But there's really not any competition uh, around here. Car washes in this area are very few and far between, if any. You'd have to drive a little little ways to get to another one. So definitely the only one in this area. I have to pardon the wind noise. It's really windy. Bad, a bad job. I mean, all of the uh, coverage and that was good. Oh, I gotta get out of this wind. Ugh. The uh, the coverage and that was good on everything. It's just the the dryers. That was the mo that was the disappointing part. Um, I'd be curious if the if the v if, if my huh, if my vehicle was really dirty. Um, I'd be curious to see just because it seemed to go so fast. Um, I'd be curious to see how well it would do. Uh, even the uh, pre-soak, okay, it did the two passes, but it didn't sit very long, and then the the uh, high-pressure winch was uh, out right away on it. And on the, um, uh, they call it a, a medium rinse, I believe, but on the, after the tri-foam, uh, I wish it would do uh, a high-pressure rinse to take the tri-foam off instead of that medium rinse, but uh, anyways. Uh, that's just me being nitpicky, I guess. Uh, but overall, I mean, it, it did a good job. I can't complain. Just like I said, the dryers. I wish the dryers did a better job. Uh, when I focused on those blade dryers on the on the side, uh, I was watching the the water beads on the window, and it wasn't even moving it. So they were uh, very very weak. So uh, that's the definitely the one thing that needs to be improved. So, anyways, uh, they also have a pet wash here as well. Um, starting to see a lot of that at these um, uh, these types of car washes and that that have the self serve bays and that they uh, uh, always kind of incorporate the the pet wash as well uh, and they have vacuums and stuff like that too. So, anyways, if you're in this area, uh, it's not bad. Eleven dollars for the uh, the works wash and like I said, it did a did a good job. So can't complain. But I do like the last one better. If you didn't see that video, uh, uh, definitely. Uh, Go do that. I think that go check that one out because, uh, in my opinion, that was a uh, a better um, uh, Condor uh, system. So, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, what else do I need to say here? Oh, um, say so yeah, we're only a f 
just a handful of days till Christmas. Not sure if I'm going to have another car wash video in between then. I've got a lot of stuff i got to do to uh, prepare for, for Christmas and that. We uh, uh, have a lot of uh, visiting and that that we do over the holidays and that's what's going to take up a bunch of my time. But if I get the opportunity, I, I will. Uh, also thinking of doing a, a Q&A uh, uh, video on that. I've never done one. Uh, I'll just leave it up to you guys if there's anything you've ever wanted to ask me or anything like that um, Any questions you want me to answer you can either put it in the comments below or email at uh, reviews by Vince at gmail.com and uh, You know if I get enough questions and stuff like that. I'll do a, a Q&A video uh, Also in the new year. I'm gonna start uh, probably doing some other reviews and uh, so I'm going to leave it up to, to you guys. Uh, two that I thought off right off the bat is either like car reviews or uh, food reviews. And food meaning like restaurants, um, fast food even, uh, different stuff like that. Uh, or if there's any other type of review uh, that you'd like me to do, let me know. But yeah, put all that in the comments below. Uh, other than that, that's it. So uh, if I don't... Uh, uh, talk to you before Christmas. Everyone have a uh, fantastic Merry Christmas. Uh, enjoy the time with your family and friends. Hopefully Santa's good to you all and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. So uh, thanks for the support everyone uh, and all the best. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.